All right. I wanted to talk about the Giants a little bit here. Uh, their schedule came out, as I said, at the top of the show, seven of the first 10 games on the road to start the season. And there's a lot of optimism in New York right now. Giants fans are very excited. They're they're happy with the draft. Uh, Hyatt falling to them. I know you liked him a lot, Jack, right? The LSC guy. Yeah, I did. Uh, people are really excited about the Giants. The I want to have a little reservation, though. Because in order to be a legitimate Super Bowl contender, they'll need a Josh Allen-esque leap from Daniel Jones. And I just don't see that happening. I see another eight or nine, ten wins probably is the ceiling that kind of a season in New York and a wild card berth is very possible. Maybe even get back to the divisional round. But in reality, this team is a lot closer to the commanders than they are the Cowboys or Eagles. Oh, for sure. So expectations just do need to be hampered a little bit. And Daniel Jones as great a season as he had. Do we really, do we really see a jump? What Gracie? He threw for 15 <laughs> touchdowns. Like I mean, he sorry, was- as great a season as Daniel Jones had, Compared to what we were expecting heading, like you have to say he had a very good season for what we were expecting last year. No, but this is exactly the problem, right? As people are talking about this Giants team, like they're going to take a huge step forward. We were shocked to see Daniel Jones throw for 3,000 yards and 15 touchdowns. (laughs) That was like mind-blowing excellence. And now they've signed him to a big deal. He's going to be there a while. They still like have mediocre pass catchers. Like... I don't understand what the excitement is of this team. It was last year was clearly fluky and they enjoyed it. And that was great for the fans. But now you're seeing this team go all in like there was really something there. And I don't get it. Yeah, well, I, when I you say they this... go all in, Ziggy, can you just explain that a little bit? For... What I mean is, is rather than saying, OK, we had a fluky year, we did well, we're going to use that goodwill to rebuild, right? To like try and set ourselves you're, up you're, to you're get a good quarterback next the Jones year. contract. Well, the Jones contract, the Saquon franchise tag, Mm -hmm. the big free agency spending, like the way they're approaching this team is a team that's going to win 12 or 13 games next year and be a real contender in the NFC. And if they are, it will only be because the NFC doesn't have a single top five team in the NFL. Yeah, I don't think the Giants are really all that good. Wait, I'm sorry. The Eagles are a top five team in the NFL. We'll see. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I just, say, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I just totally yeah, missed. Sometimes, sometimes yeah, yeah, when yeah. I rewatch shows, next I'm year like, they will not. Ziggy will next say year something. they will not. <laughs> yeah, Ziggy will say something. I'll be like, sneak that in there. Like, Wait a second. Like I should have said something. I just hear him I, saying. I think they're the third best team in the NFL. Check next. Check next year. The Eagles will not be a top five team. Write me down for it. All right, I'm writing it down right Jaylen here. Jalen Hurts hashtag regression. I love that, but I, I do want to say about Re- the Giants. Very possible about the Giants though. While we're talking about them not like we're, we're talking about them in a fairly negative light right now, I do think that they still have a good football team. Like, oh, this, I think they're okay. I see, I see this team winning about eight or nine games and threatening a wild card spot. I just don't think that the Super Bowl or, or even an NFC championship game is, is realistic at all. I mean, I think the best that the Giants can do for a long time is get the number six or seven seed in the playoffs, maybe win a game like this year and get trounced by one of the better teams. Remember, remember like when for, they played for a lo- Philly for a at the end of last year? They got they got destroyed in the playoffs. They got destroyed at home against yeah. them. When, when they, all the backups were in, that was a close game. But they're the second worst team in their division. They ended the year three six you, and one. You look, yeah. And you look at this optimism, right? They tied the Commanders in what was that like week fifteen or sixteen? They tied the Commanders. If they had a loss of that game, they wouldn't have made the playoffs. The Commanders would have made them instead. Yeah, they should have lost this game. We'd be looking at them completely differently. No, yeah, and so and we're talking about them tying exactly. a team everyone knows is bad. I get the Commanders went eight and eight last year. They weren't good, but there's nothing. There's this team didn't show anything. They beat a putrid Viking secondary in the playoffs. Great job, guys. They beat the crap out of them. <laughs> yeah, mean, but we, we, we sucked. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to pretend like just, like, like we were good. Oh, yeah, our <laughs> secondary was abysmal. Oh, yeah, the Eagles mauled you guys. Definitely. Oh, yeah, no, no. Daniel Jones looked like like, like Brett Favre. Against that the, yeah. that yeah. team is the third, the clear-cut third best team in their division. But would it stun me if Washington had a better record? It wouldn't stun me. I'd be, no, I'd be, it, a, little, I'd be a little surprised, it, but it, I wouldn't be jaw-dropped. It would surprise me more if Washington finished better than the Giants than if the Giants finished first or second. But again, you yeah. just as we, we talked about this with the we talked about this with the Jets. You can look at this with the uh, Giants, right? Their schedule next year: what they've got home versus the Cowboys at Cardinals at 49ers versus Seahawks at Dolphins at Bills. Like they could easily be one and five there. Every way I look four. at it, their first ten games, 
I, I think five and five is like that. That's about realistic, and really four yeah, and six maybe. Yeah, I don't think four and six. I think four and six would be a success for this. A lot. A lot of this past season too that's carrying over for the giants is that what didn't they start the year six and two or six and three yes they were off to they a finished, super they hot finished start. pretty poorly that's when they finished three six and one but that hot start kind of carried over into this offseason even that viking playoff win don't let it fool you that viking secondary like we said was horrible and you saw a lot of the issues the giants really have get exposed in philadelphia a week mm-hmm. later people talk about the vikings and one score games right the giants started what Six and one, and all six of those wins were one score games. I believe the Giants had the biggest. There's, there is this some calculation, uh, the luck statistic, and the Giants actually had the luckiest season of anyone in the league. People were talking well, about how lucky the Vikings got. The, the Giants led the league in the luck factor. Let, that was a let me walk, let, let, let yeah. me walk you through their first six wins. All right, please do. They beat the Titans by one point. They beat the Panthers by three points. They beat the Bears by eight. They beat the Packers by five. The Ravens by four. The Jaguars by six. And the Texans by seven. Ravens and Jaguars are, are okay with And the Jaguars no, are in what I mean is just Yeah, what I mean is just like this is a team that had very few early good wins. They had a bunch of wins by only a couple points against teams that were terrible. Right? Does that three does that three point win against the Panthers look impressive? That touchdown win against the Texans? And then when they play decent teams like the Eagles, they just got blown out. Yeah, and remember, there's a reason why their win total is set at seven and a half right now. Should be lower. The the expectations should not be sky high for the New York. Again, just want to clarify because I know Giants fans are going to get up in the comment section. Let this, this team can go to the wild card round. I, I don't think that saying they make the playoffs is crazy. Like they just yeah. did it. I, they got a little better this off season. I could very well see them going back to the divisional if they get a nice draw in the first round. And they'll lose thirty eight to seven again. But that's probably what will happen. Yes. <laughs> my my <laughs> hot take for the uh, for the year though is the Giants beat the Jets in MetLife, uh, and then they'll say, yeah, "Okay, get up out of our stadium." Oh, so you you, you see it as a it, territorial. It, it'll game, be like yeah. Jets minus nine and a half. Giants will beat them. Be like, this is our stadium. Well, well the Jets, if it's Jets point, minus get, nine and a half, that's like the best bet in the NFL. The Jets at that point. Oh, could I'd be, slam uh, the Giants on the money line. I'm taking the Giants the money line in that game. The Jets could be two and two and what two and four coming into that game, given uh, our early analysis. The Jets are off a bye. Jets are off a bye. Oh, never mind then. I don't know. I think Jets are probably like three and three at that point. Giants will beat them. The Giants are a good team. Yeah, I, they're, they're a solid team, just not a Super Bowl contender. Get your own stadium. <laughs> 